What's going on guys and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. We are now on day three and I just want to thank you all for the love and the support that you've given this series so far. Thank you so much for the liking it, just commenting it and just being around and enjoying the videos. So thank you so much and let's continue with today's video. You right there Calvin? I wonder where you was a minute ago. It was just uh, chilling in the forest. Do you want to grab me some lumber, actually? What are you doing right now? Are you... Follow me real quick. Alright, I want you to gather me some logs. Because today... I want to, uh... Start laying some defences and some traps down. And I want you to... Drop some logs off here. We are on day five now. And autumn is approaching. First of all, let's let's get a, a bone storage down. Because we've got all these bones right here and they are collecting. So let's place that right there. I'm not going to lie, I wondered what that crack was then. It was just Calvin. Anyway, let's put all them in there. I would like to get some... Come on. Come on. Yes. Nice. We're definitely getting better with the ball for sure. It doesn't have the longest of range, but what can you expect with a rope as you string? Let's get some of that. I guess we should uh, put a dry rack down. There we go. It needs 13 sticks. We've definitely got that. Put that down just there. Okay, we need to get some more sticks. There's definitely a lot round here. We just need to go into this little bit of shrubbery, but... I want to check in this general direction as well, because this is where the... The cannibals come from last time. I'm just wondering if there's a camp this way. And they strayed away to come and check me out. Let's grab some of these. Just got to be careful getting ambushed in here. I need to keep my head on a swivel as well and keep my head looking up. Because they might just drop onto my head. Oh, a spider there. Didn't even see that. Made me freak out a little bit, I'm not going to lie to you. Nice, Kelvin. Just chopping down multiple trees. I've kind of noticed every now and again you need to give him some... ...orders. Otherwise he uh, stops doing what he's doing and doesn't do it for too long. There we go. Let's put this on there. Nice. Let's start hanging some of this meat. I've got six pieces right there. We're good for food right now, but... You can see the blood dripping off this. I wonder what it is we need. Oh, a birdhouse. That might be ideal. Stick a birdhouse on the side of my... On the side of my house. Got some planting as well. Fish trap. Small animal trap. Here we go. Fly swatter trap. And a bone maker trap. Oh, what are you running from? You running from that? Either that or you got too close to me. Yeah, back up. I don't want to be dealing with you today. Just making sure he's alright over there. Just hacking away. He does seem to be clearing over there a lot. Oh, hello. Are you hiding? Back up. Oh my. They move a lot. Is he after my meat? Yeah, we're not doing that. I'm wasting arrows. Let's get that back. Oh, God damn it. Definitely take that though, that was easy. You're out there, Calvin. Dude, wait. Where are you going? You don't need to run that far. Calvin? Yeah, camp see you. Bloody spoon. He should be fine. I'm just wondering if he stops what he's doing if he gets chased. 
We have to take this guy down, aren't we? I can see you there. That's more bones for us, to be honest. Now that we've got the bone storage, put them in there. Oh, God, another one. just don't want to leave me alone, do you? Just for one hour, at least. I wonder what my body count is now for them. Only thing I want to do is I just want to go on and do a bit of exploration today. Actually, let's put a trap down. Let's put our first trap down. But I'm just debating where to put it, because we don't have a filter right now. Somewhere we can funnel the enemies in. I'm just wondering if to put it near the front door. In case they come over here. I think, yeah, let's do that. Let's just put that there. Need some more sticks. I'm only going to put this down for science. I want to see what it's going to do and how it can benefit us against these. And maybe I can lure them into it if there's a fight. Some berries here. I actually need to eat some of these so we can learn what we can do. To be honest, we don't have much pills left, so making some health herbs might be beneficial. We should have enough sticks to actually do the rest of this. And I think it only needs rope as well. Let's put you in there. There we go. I don't know which direction this is going to fling, but maybe I should make a funnel for the enemies to come through. I might have to do a wall around this, maybe with an entrance. And maybe they'll be dumb enough to use it. But it is near enough 3 o'clock. I'm just wondering if it's worth heading out or wait till morning. Before we head, because uh, I want to go down to that raft that we saw out in the ocean. When we was down on the beach. It's literally the south of our position right now. So in the meantime, let's just have a look what's around us. If there's any, uh, anything we can actually look at. We've got something over here, something grey on the map. Might be something we can check out. But for all we know, it could be a rock. Yeah. There's two of them following me. Let's move. They've got the advantage. Oh, crap. We need to lure him into open space. can't see here. I'm in their territory. I need to take them to mine. Okay. Let's play. That's another one. Three, three of them. Four of them. You can call me Mike Tyson with these dodging abilities. There's one there. One behind that tree. One there. And there's one to the right as well. Come on. Who else wants some? Ow. Maybe that will scare one of them. You still want to come? That's two of them down. I'm pretty hurt. I need some pills. He's probably hiding down here. 
along the trail. The other one's eating his friend. I tell you what, I'm tempted. to leave one of their bodies on the trap. I feel like I should burn these right here. One of them escaped. He was badly wounded though. I think I did pretty well to be honest. Yeah, let's leave this one. We're going to get the bones though. Take them back, put them in our rack. Something I didn't do as well. I'm going to make a club. It won't help with reach, but it might do a little bit more damage to him. Okay. Hopefully Kelvin's okay. Or is that just a hawk? I've noticed the hawks kind of swoop down and pick up squirrels and rabbits. There's the other one. You slimy little devil. Clever. I'm going to put this one on this fire over here. That was the fourth one that left us. That's why I only took him one hit. He was super weak. Hopefully Kelvin's okay. I do see his GPS going backward and forward, so it does mean he is dropping stuff off and he's not running around. And it's about to go six o'clock. I, like I like to sleep after six if possible. Just so I know I can wake up and there's going to be a bit of light. <laughs> Okay, my own trap set. Oh, jeez, that absolutely scared the crap out of me. Bits, please don't walk into your own traps. That'd be very, very beneficial, you know? Oh, maybe that's a bad place to put it. I wonder if I could... Can I move this? I don't think I can move it. I'm going to crouch. Okay, she's just wandering. She's not backing up like she was doing before. You know what, Kelvin? You're doing a lot. Let's get, let's get you to take a break. There's a lot of logs there right now. Uh, take a break. There you go. There's already quite a bit of logs here. Wait a minute. These items are back. Oh, have they not fixed that from the first one? I'm pretty sure in the first one... When you saved... And you left... And come back in... All the stuff comes back. Yeah, this needs... Uh, this needs a cheeky fix. You can farm doing this very easily. Especially if you've got a place like, to be honest, there's loads of duct tape there. So I can just keep doing this over and over again. And then store it. So what I'm going to do, once I save next time, I am going to come through here but I won't pick up these items. It does look like we are now in autumn. The leaves are falling and we need to prepare for winter because winter is coming. I do love the contrast between the orange trees and the green ones. It has to be my favorite time of year. I love how we can see the change So if we look at this, we're on day number six. So if it's took six days for autumn, does that mean we're going to get snow on day 12? Does each season last for six days? 
let's get a bench here. And hopefully... Calvin will sit on it. Alright. Wait. I've just used a plank for that and I've got a full plank there. Wait, what? Okay, there's definitely some wiz wizardry going on today. Let's put that down. There's a bench there for him to sit on. Once we're able to build a bed, can we actually build a bed? I can remove this tent. I am going to need some sticks. So let's get some of them and get this bed built. This wind is extremely strong right now. I'm seeing more of this mist over here as well. I'm intrigued to wonder what this is like. Jesus. There is a little lake down here. What is this one? Is this the one we was at before with the island in the middle? Yes, it is. I think what I want to do is I want to keep my spear out at all times. But if I, if I'm, if I see an enemy and he's coming towards me, I want to get my bow out so we can get them headshots. And stun them or something. Get some more berries. We are being followed. Jesus, this wind. I feel like we're always going to be followed now. I've just got to expect it. I'm going to head down here. Oh, this looks creepy. I'm going to watch ourselves down here. I don't want to tumble down there. I'm going to have an MRE pack here. I'm starving. My guy's tired. Let's have an energy drink as well. Might give us some boost of energy. One thing I've noticed is if my stomach's half full and I go to sleep, it takes half a stomach. So if I go to bed on a full stomach and my thirst is on a full, I'd actually wake up with half. <laughs> Jesus! Why do they scream like that? It's absolutely terrifying. How close are we now to the... the coast? He's gonna keep following me. We've got a crate here as well. Some more duct tape. Let's pick up the pace here. He's communicating to his friends. One thing we've not come across yet are any mutants. I wonder when we're going to see them. And to be honest, if the mutants and the cannibals see each other, they're going to fight it out. Okay, we're coming down to the beach here. Oh. Alright, it's good to be out of the forest, to be honest. And in the open. I feel like... The advantage is definitely in my favour here. We've got a boat and some rope. Some coins. I don't know what we can do with them. But oh boy, does it feel nice to be safe out here. I know that I can see the enemies coming from at least 100, 200 metres away. The only problem, though, if I was to build out here... What was that? Hello? Something weird is going on today. I can't seem to throw my spear. 
Let's put it away and grab it again. Okay. That is super duper weird. I might have to set up a camp here and sleep and save. Okay, so I'm just wondering if we do come across any turtles or toitoises, whatever they are. If we're able to get the shell and we can able to craft the water catcher. Hopefully. Or is that going to be a thing for later down the line? When the gods add some more things to this world. It looks like we've got something here. Not a tin. It's a can. Nothing in these buckets though. Some dead fish. Some shoes. Alright. Hopefully there's no sharks or killer whales. We're pretty deep out. I'm not seeing anything yet. I'm just scared that every time I bob underneath the water, I'm going to see teeth coming at me. <gasps> there is sharks. We need to get onto that raft quick. Come on. Nice. Oh. Climb aboard. Oh, I don't know if that just tried to come up and grab me. I've got another GPS beacon. Some more meal kits. Oh, and a pistol. Beautiful. Something definitely we can use. I don't want to waste my rounds on this shark, though. And to be honest, I don't know how many rounds is in this. Will it tell me? Wait, so I can combine this. But what can I combine it with? Something we don't have a recipe for. I thought we might have been able to uh, add the torch, but maybe we need a, a smaller one. But yeah, it doesn't seem like we can add anything to it. Would have been nice if we can add the torch. There it is. I'm going to wait for him to get distracted and then I'm going to move. Hopefully a seagull lands. He's actually over there. Let's go. Wait, can I get out this side? Swim. I'm hoping there was only just one shark there. I'm not going to look behind me just in case. Okay. <sighs> We're back. I think what I want to do here... He's had my pistol. Where is it? It's up there. It's my backpack. We don't need the skull on that. Got my weapons here. Got my... Uh, this. I want to preserve my ammo. Because we've not come up against... Well, we've not collected anymore. As of yet. And we need to use this in dire emergency situations. I'm going to take a trip down this beach. See what else we can find. There's a boat here as well. Oh, here we go. A turtle. Toy toys. Three of them. Feel bad for doing this, but... I'm sorry. Wait, where did that other one go? We got a shell. 
I'm wondering if we can use that as some form. Oh, it's there. I wonder if we can use it as some form of shield. Maybe mix it with some rope or something and put it around her arm. Saves us, you know, trying to block with a club. Am I able to make the club right now? Have I got a skull? Oh, I don't want to hold it, do I? Let's put that in there. What do I need? A stick and some rope. There we go. This will help. And hopefully this will scare him off a little bit more. So we can see our damage is about 40%. Speed. And got better protection. This has no protection whatsoever. But at least we can block with this. That's got some distance and this obviously does more damage. So let's equip that onto our backpack. Let's take that off. Add that. And maybe we'll use that spear as a throwing spear. Okay, so I've been walking for about five minutes now. And we come across some crates here. Let's bash these open and get some rope. The question is though, where did these come from? There's nothing beached here. Huh. I'm guessing it's just come up on, on shore or something. Just look how beautiful this is. Hot beaming sun. Coastal rocks. Nice steady ocean. I'm actually going to cut up here because there's another GPS marker. And I'm interested to see what it is. We're being so close. So we're going to head up here and head back into the forest. So now it's time to keep our uh, head on a swivel. I can't believe it. I cooked that meat but didn't even eat any. What a spoon. There we go. Let's get our energy back up again. I don't really want to be using this. Oh, I could have used an energy bar. That helps with the thirst as well, though, I guess. We should be really saving this stuff for winter. Especially the package stuff. And using what we can off the land to survive for now. Okay, so I've managed to find a path. And uh, it should be just up here on the left. But it does seem like there is something to the right at the top of this. It seems to be a lake. A little pond. Wouldn't surprise me if there's a camp around there or something. I've not heard anything recently. But I guarantee I will in about a couple of seconds. <laughs> I do want to check this lake out though in case there's any tents that... Somebody used to live there. But my beeper's going off now. So we're getting closer. Surround here. To the left a bit. Oh, there they go. I can hear them. Oh, is it this? Gravestone? Cloth? Do I need to dig this up? I think I need a, a spade for this. And I don't have a clue where to get that. Oh. Wait, Kelvin's following us. Why is Kelvin following us? He should be back at base. Tell you what though, let's go back down here. I'm going to put that map away because that beeping will do my head in. What's that? It's just a random bucket there. This could be a trap. Actually, it's a camp. Oh, God. Oh, there's some rounds. We can sleep here if need be. Oh, I can hear them. They're coming. More rounds. Perfect. What time of the day is it? 17 off. I think we might sleep here for the night. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I'm not going to sleep with him. We'll sleep here. It's a little dark, though. Extremely dark. My light's not going to do anything. Well, my lighter, I should say, is not going to do anything here. But that sunrise coming up through them trees looks glorious. 
What else have we got around here? This is a different one. The lake I was going to go to was down here. This little pond where Calvin's heading. I'm just wondering if I was to attach my torch, where would it... Oh, I can't put my torch on my backpack. Can I remove that and add it? No. That's a bit weird. Oh, I can't add my torch onto my backpack. Unless it will automatically swap out my lighter when I equip it. Let's try that, in fact. Okay. So if I put this away, it will bring it out. Okay. Let's let's do that instead. Let's see, there's nothing here then. It's just a little, little pathway. We might as well drink since we need to. I've noticed as well, you can't drink while you've got the spear in your hand. But you can if you have the club or the bow. Calvin's just arrived. I wish I could equip you with a weapon, but he's got a concussion. But he knows how to chop down a tree. All right, Calvin, let's move. I didn't think I'll have to worry about you over here, but... God damn it, I thought something was creeping up on me then. Oh, there was. <sighs> Jesus. Calvin, come on. Jesus, this is a wide open area. Only problem is it's on a hill. Imagine trying to build on this. I tell you what, I love how different parts of this forest. Right, I'm coming up onto this marker over here. Don't know what it is. We've not come across one of these green ones yet. We've come across the GPS, but... I don't know what this is. It's about 200 meters in front, I think. Just a bit further. Okay, I can see something up ahead. That's a worker. And a couple of golf carts. Oh, and a cave. Is there anything here? Alright, before I go in here, I think it's time I put this down. Just to be sure. Because we don't know what we're going to uncover. I'm just wondering, even though I've got the torch. Even though I've got the torch. Let's make a... A flame torch. As well. Because this might be better. Let's do this. Oh, God. Let's light this. Okay, so I can't literally see any, any, anything in front of me. I can hear rocks falling. Jesus. I heard, like, thumping. I'm not gonna lie, I'm on edge right now. I think I can hear Calvin just outside the cave. Jesus! Bloody bats. We're going deeper. There's a... There's a light down here. Oh, what is this? Food and dining. Whoa. Jesus. It's like an episode of Lost. Let me just equip that. Supplies. Literally food and dining. Even power tools. 
I wonder if there's a spade in here. Steak vice. Nice. Some arrows. And a letter. What is this? Thought you might find this interesting. Thought you might find this interesting. We're calling it Artifact 1. Might be related to that cube you guys found. Cube. Interesting. Oh. Okay, so we need a key card. Lots of meat that's not spoiled. I don't know how. If that's not been spoiled, this is definitely recent. Can we check any of these? Another arrow. Oh, it's a crossbow bolt, in fact. Oh my god. Just people hanging. There's nothing else in here, just more steak bites. I'm guessing we need to find a card then to get through this door. I'm just wondering if this is where we can find the crossbow, if there's bolts in here, and this guy's got bolts in him. If this is where the crossbow is behind there, we just need to find the key card. But we're just going to keep searching. More steak bites. Alright. I guess there's nothing else we can do in here. Let's get out of here. So it seems... Like, oh God, I'm gonna open this up. Get that. No, no, my torch, right? There we go. This torch, the light seems to do more. Do you not think? The lighter. What the hell? Yeah, I feel like I'm get the pistol out here. I can definitely hear something upstairs. I think it is Calvin. There's the exit. So this cave was pretty small, but it gave us some good knowledge. Calvin up there, it has to be. But now I'm more curious about the bunker. Oh god, that's bright. <sighs> Where's Calvin? He is here. Oh, Jesus! Bloody hell. Calvin. You okay? You've been hanging out a beer with this guy. <laughs> Bloody hell, they sound like kids. I've just come to realize we're actually going past our old house here. And it wouldn't surprise me if them ones that we've just taken out are the ones that used to pest us around here, you know? Even the campfire is still going. Oh, I might just take all these bones with us. Totally forgot about all these. Take as many as we can. It just shows the reinforced fire. What is going on over there? There's a mosh pit or a dance party going on. Wait, they're coming. Uh oh. Uh oh. God damn it.
This one's got a mask. They've got armor on as well. <sighs> Bloody hunting party. Calvin, don't walk over the fire. You'll burn your toes. I used all my arrows for them. Let's make sure I claim some back. That's the first hunting party that has come at me. I think I've got enough action for one day. I'll store these logs. So at least they're not going to go anywhere. I'm worried now. But we will hold this ground if I have to lay more traps down. And to be honest, I should have checked if that trap would work on him. Or is it only going to work on the small ones? There we go. Logs away. Let's store our winter food. Our meal. And these can go out with us if we go on an adventure. And this raw meat like this can can stick with us. Let's put our tarps down. The hell is this? A paper target. Put some energy drinks down. We'll keep one on us for emergencies. Same with an energy energy bar. Got quite a few seeds as well. I store some grenades. Same with the flares. Keep them as backup in case we get raided. And hopefully it's not at night time. Okay, seems like the shelf is full. And it's about to go evening as well. I think it's the perfect time to end this video. So thank you so much for watching. It's been a, a chunky one, this one. And I'll see you in another one. And as always, thank you so much for your support. And keep smiling. God damn it. <laughs>